Ah, all right, well, we have max gold. Shit, we should probably just buy some shit. Whatever, I don't have any of you. Private eye, sure. Prickly, nah. Um, I don't know how I feel. Do you have you guys ever bought in Mercs? Cause I, 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 I don't think it's a good like worth it at all. I'd rather just go out and get them. Like honestly, this looks like such a waste. I have all of these items. And it's 7k. I don't know. That, that just seems like waste to me. But uh, today we're using our all monster team. Which is uh, pretty cool. The haunted leftovers. Uh, our gorgeous zombie. Our Von Dingley Dong. That's what I call him. And our Madame Megavat. So I was told in the last episode why I was so confused. Because... Uh, vampires do bonus damage to bleeding enemies which I had no idea so now I do and I thank you to the thank a big big thank you to the person who cleared that up for me because I was legitimately confused and I was like hold on is there a secret that I don't know about all right but obviously we're still not in the area that I want to be in so we're just gonna go mess around. We're gonna go to the crypt and uh, screw with some people. And if I see somebody that I wanna screw with on the way there, we'll do that too. Point is, there will be many screwings. That sounds wrong. But, uh. Shirting. Oh, you know what we could do? Shit, I got an idea. Oh, now I want to do this. All right, I'll explain it at the end of the video, but first we have to beat down on some people. Let's do this first. A Gorgon. Sure. All right, we're gonna... We'll, we'll do that. There has to get hungry regularly. All righty. So now recruiting. This mission usually... Usually it doesn't take too long to find somebody with a Gorgon on their team, but now that I'm looking for it, it'll probably take an hour and a half. So, how are you guys doing today? I know, uh, I know it's pretty, probably pretty early. This is the, I think this is the earliest I've woken up. As in, like, I actually got some sleep. It's so weird. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh... It's pretty good. Um, you look pissed off as hell. Uh, da, 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 nothing. Ding, ding, ding. Do it, do it. I ain't got shit from you, bud. Up here, no, it's not Gorgons up there. No way. What the hell? How come I can't find any? These things are like usually somewhere. Sure, whatever. We'll be down on a wraith. If, uh, no Gorgons want to come and say hi to me, then uh, I guess I have no choice but to beat down on a few zombies. Look, they got a pixie on two pixies, a vampire, and a wraith, and then some zombies. But, like, our zombies are better. So, yeah, we're gonna make a quick little setup we're gonna switch the vampire and uh places you're gonna take a nice little cheap shot aren't you bud we're gonna go full aggressive right now and we're gonna end the turn there damn our zombie hits hard so still no shots off from the vampire. Ah, you think you're so cool, don't you? Yeah, we'll go there. Ooh, you're bleeding, so now. Does that mean he's gonna take bonus damage from, uh, Madame Von Megal? Nope, he dead as fuck. I will tank that up real quick. Back out of that engagement. I really don't feel like that's a good idea. Ooh, 
Ooh, Von Dingly Dong, you leveled up, my guy. To be honest, you might be a better fit for the team than Von Dingly Dong, just because you take up one slot, and Von Dingly Dong takes up two, which is the main reason that I say uh, that. But, you know, whatever. So I'll just wait here then. <laughs> Yeah, bro, you just gotta wait there. Oh, shit. Ow. You're bleeding, buddy. So does that mean... How do I make you fly? I don't know. I had no idea. We're gonna attack you. You move up. We'll go over there. So... Yo. She's so dead. Yeah. I was about to say, this is, dude, she's gone. <laughs> she's too low a level. And I don't know how to play with vampires. I honestly don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't play with them very often. When I do, it's for very limited amounts of time. Whatever. Von Dingly Dong won't go down, but really? Really, Julieta? Julieta, you about to catch these hands right now, bro. Straight up, come here. <gasps> I missed. No, Von Dingly Dog, you can't do that. Aw, that sucks. All right, I'll kill you then. We should have a straight shot, uh, unless you move like that. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? Executive decision. Let's go over there. And then we can draw them out over here. Banger! We're gonna do that. That way they have to get closer to Von Dingley Doo. And hopefully he doesn't get slowed. And then you're gonna get hurt a lot in the pants and the face. Mostly the pants though. You should die if I hit this. That's a good kill. And then you're gonna run away. And you're gonna run after us. Alright, so we're gonna have Gorgeous over here. Uh, do a little bit of the smackety do on this side. Yeah. Ack, my inside app. Yeah, they, I mean, that. that's gonna happen if you get hit by that. Yeah. Why did the zombies just sandwich themselves? Sure, bro. Whatever floats your boat. Banger, because Von Dingly Dong don't take no L's. Yeah, he, 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 he doesn't take L's. Good kill. That's a good way to end the game, you know. Uh... Madame Von Megabat didn't really, like, I don't know how to use vampires, bro. I don't even know how to make them, like, fly, dude. We should probably look in our survival guide, huh? She is level 1. That explains why she's gonna die real quick. Um, fighting zombies at low levels. Probably not a good idea unless you have somebody who does splash damage. Ah, get the hell away from me, friggin' dumbass-looking boy. Uh... Still no Gorgon. Yeah, there's there's nothing here for me to uh for me to snipe out from Mr. Whispers. Alright, we're gonna go home real quick and get a freshly healed Von Megabat. Von, Von Megabat, apparently. Madame Megabat. We're gonna try that again. We're gonna have okay, put you away. Grab one of you and one of you. Alright. <clears throat> So we're gonna have a little bit of extra utility because Madame Von Megaly Boobada What does what do vampires do good against? Let's look that up real quick. I know zombies are just good at uh weak to ice and choke points, slot e one slot equals two fighters, so they're really good at mobbing people. Mascots just nobody even knows. Vampires Weak to sharp pointy arrows vampires the vampires 
Vampires is I, I have no fucking idea. Whatever. Is a invigorated is invigorated by the smell of blood. The more something's bleeding, the more damage she will do. She regains a percentage of her damage as health. Okay. She has the ability to fly outside her normal range when holding the move button. Holding the move button. So that's that's left click. Uh, growing wings, uh, but it hurts her a little bit. Weak to sharp, pointy arrows, it takes up one slot. Alright, uh... Uh... I don't know. What's well, what's a team that's not gonna have sharp pointy arrows? Miners probably will not have sharp pointy arrows. We had a zombie miner once. He got fired after the second day. Are you weak to electricity? Quick question. Is you gonna fall apart on us, my guy? Dude, gorgeous is just so beautiful, bro. Look at that face. Look at that. Do you not want to smash that face right there? Bro, like, bro, come on. We're gonna move up. We're gonna you. You know what? We're gonna try this. We're gonna use you as only as a support. So we're gonna chill you with you back there. Let everybody else come in. And then I'll beat the crap out of him. All right. Went over here. Move shift down a little bit. Nobody on the team really has arrows, so it's probably good that uh, we won't be taking damage from that, I guess. Gorgeous, gorgeous, baby. You're not our main tank. Yeah, so you're hurt. Yeah, so, ow. Jesus, so that, that did that did 14 damage because he was pretty low on uh, on health. Oh, so you hold in the direction. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That actually that makes a lot of sense. Much sense is were made. Why you attacked the wrong person though, bro? Banger across the lake, so you won't even be able to cross that, so you're safe right there. You're bleeding, you're bleeding. So Madame Von Megabat is really gonna shine in this area. So if I went there and moved you here, and maybe you would up here to support, we should be good. Yeah, there you go. So, when using vampires, unless you just have a mob of them, it would be better to uh, really just take your time. Because uh, they're really good at cleanup. They're really good at cleanup. They are not good at all when it comes to, like, just normal attacking. But, uh, we're gonna go all the way over there. Four damage, which is gonna get a lot of health back, because you are bleeding, so you got five health. So that's really good. She, vampires should, you shouldn't let them into positions where they could potentially, um, get hurt. And I mean potentially get hurt, as in, like, don't put them in an area, like, if I was this, as if I was here, right? If this was my vampire, I wouldn't put my vampire in a corner where there's enemies around that area. So she's really good at leaving the area. So say I wanted just to hide, right? And then I'll draw the enemy out. So say it wasn't the last move because it'll probably end after this. But say we wanted to go over here, keep her alive. Now one of the teammates will come in. Make her bleed, right? Oh, you almost took a shot, dude. So one of the enemies will make you. Yeah, I want you to level up. So one, she'll try to take uh, a couple shots. So she'll probably start when she starts bleeding. That's when you want to send the vampire in. If you only have one vampire on your team, so then she sneaks in and kills that, and then you're good. 
So that's basically how to use vampires, I guess. Uh, we're just gonna have you ch get chased around by this sword all day. Yeah. I want Gorgeous to level up just because I, uh, Gorgeous would fit into our A team a little bit better than Von Dingley Dong would. Uh, because Von Dingley Dong takes up two spots. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's how I would play it. Uh,. Let's do one more battle, just because I want to battle you really quick, now that I'm, like, learning to play Vampire. Okay, so, you have arrows. You have arrows right there, so automatically, I'm gonna go in the opposite direction, right here, and then mount you, and then you, we're gonna go over there, and then you're gonna go down there. So the reason for this, I position the big shield in front of everyone, that way the archer targets it. Watch, if you start taking shots, it's always gonna hit our top shield. And then you're gonna get a counterattack, which is really good. Uh, then we can move up like so, and then our vampire slowly just stays in the background. That's what I want to use this vampire for. The instant the vampire sees somebody's bleeding, that's when we're gonna go in and really capitalize on some damage. Uh, we're gonna go down there, go down there, and now we're gonna go over here, and then because of that, I'm gonna go over here because I don't want to get killed by that pixie, so that's how we're gonna play that. Don't attack my freaking guy. Yeah, see, like here, right here. This is gonna be so useful. So you stay there. You do go over there and you stay there. Because he just did a crap ton of damage. He did like 11, 14 damage. There you go. I was about to say 11 for some reason. 14 damage and you are extremely low because you've already been bleeding. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't expecting light showers. Fair point. So then you're gonna stay over there, you're gonna die from you, and then you're dead over there. Uh... Ow. Again, with the expecting the light showers bit. So, if we... D I want you to level up, which is why I'm gonna have you do the killing over there, and we're gonna go over here and support. You still can use the... Vampire is a main attack card or troop. The reason I really, I really wouldn't want to in this setup necessarily. I believe in this setup that we have a main HP tank, we have an arrow tank, we have a healer and protector. We do not have a a real trump card. So the real trump card for us would be the vampire doing more and more damage each time. Each time we actually uh, attack an enemy, which I think is how it works, because I think your base attack isn't that high. Move up like so, and then we can just go like that. Yeah, I don't know. I really like uh, I really like gorgeous. I like the zombie head. Other than that. Like, for instance, you, if I didn't, w if you were at low health and I needed to keep you alive, I can back off like that, and then you can fly all the way over there and just murder. Alright, so I'm going to stay a safe distance away here, that way you should target, oh, I don't want you to target him. Ow! Oh, that hurts. Alright, you're gonna take 11 damage. Damn, boo. But yeah, I feel like... I don't know, I, I like this setup a lot. Like, when they're bleeding, especially when they're bleeding. We can just have Von Dingley Dong, or uh, Madame Von Megabat over here, uh, take it out. Yeah. Vampires actually, you know what? Vampires are really good when enemies start to do the shit they do when they start to run away. When the enemies start to run away and actually pay attention to their health, that's when vampires uh, shine the most. Because vampires can get in 
where most enemies can't and get out. Assuming, of course, that they don't get surrounded, which is probably the worst, a worst nightmare for a vampire user, is probably getting a vampire surrounded. Uh, for instance, I played uh, one of my friends, or no, I played an online match. One of the online matches I did on this channel, I played, and uh, the he used all, all, uh, all vampires. The problem with that is I was using my A team. My A team right now is this team. Okay, instead of Pip and Yusuf, I had two wraiths in replacement. So I had a, a three wraith setup. That was my old setup. Was a three wraith, two, one healer, one tank, and then uh, one. I think it was. I think it was a spider at the time. I have to go back and look. Uh, but he used all um, vampires. The problem with that is I had a healer, and my main strategy of attack was waiting for him to make a mistake. Now, he did make mistakes in that battle where he was super aggressive, and he didn't keep his vampires together. That's what's going to get you killed. If you do use mass vampires, isolating individual vampires, not a good idea. Because when that happens, the enemy, if you're like playing somebody who's smart, that B team looks stacked. But uh, we're going to sort our fighters real quick and do what I was talking about in the start of the episode. We're going to make an all-vampire squad. We don't have enough, so we still need uh, three more. But, uh, I mean, yeah. Vampires are actually pretty fun to use. I'm going to keep, well, I'm going to keep using my, uh, my D-squad. My vampire squad. Do we not have one for B? We don't. Madame Von Megabat. I think I think she gotta be our OG here. She has to be the OG. But uh, our D team right now looks absolutely amazing. With just the amount of defense. And somebody did tell me when I was using Pixies to take off the helmet. So I have to remember that. I'm, I'm, I have no idea how I'm gonna remember that. But I have to remember that for when I use Pixies next. Uh, cause I haven't been really doing the, the Emperor's Orders so much lately, and I think it's because it's really repetitive, but, um, yeah, this team's actually really good. So its base of damage is actually 11 damage, and it has a bonus damage when it's, when the enemies are bleeding. That, I, I think, is when, then, when, uh, when you should send your vampire in. So have, just, like... If you're only using one vampire in a squad, play play how I played mine. I really just kept my my vampire hanging back and only really sent her in when I knew that the enemy was low and could be one-shotted by our uh, vampires. Is that how you call it? I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know how you guys play vampire because I really don't know how to play. That's how I think. I have to play, but again, that, that, I mean, there's so much that could, uh, could change there. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.